and Ra. We have Karen Arden and Jim Slutzer. Thank you very much. You were the American Marketing Association, and they have a big event coming up next week. You know, we were just chatting. Karen, you can kind of take over for us because you've been a guest so often now. So interview us. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you very much for having us today. Yes, we've got a great event coming up next Wednesday, which is March 12th at the Alicar Pavilion, and it's our first annual Marketing Services Exposition. And right now we have almost 42 exhibitors that are going to be there, and they're marketing professionals from every arena you can think of. Everything from ad agencies to photographers to marketing consultants. To video to, production to companies. video production companies. Tampa Digital is going to be there. We're very excited about that. Um, and we've got um, so far almost 100 people registered to attend our luncheon, um, which will feature Rob Horton. He is the director of marketing for ICI Paints. They represent Glidden and Ralph sure. Lauren and little companies like that. So it should be a really interesting presentation on their new Eco Fresh Air product that is launching this next week at Home Depot, actually. Well, that's wonderful. It should be another high traffic event for us. We've had a lot of luck um, in the past where our, our monthly attendance at these events has been as high as 150 plus. So based upon our early registration, we think it's going to be another good event for us. You know, I got to tell you, though, you guys, uh, as an AMA chapter here in Tampa Bay, you guys are ranking up in the top in the big leagues because you're getting a lot of attention because of what you're bringing to the community. You guys have really done an excellent job revitalizing this organization from, you know, six people sitting around going, how are we going to do it, to having over 150 people there. Having an event with 46 vendors at the a la carte pavilion with over 100 people already registered for it, what a great way to give to the community and what a great way to expose people that really might not have an opportunity to get exposed to the community. Well, the really good news about the Expo is that it's free to attend. Anybody in Tampa Bay can come to the Expo and meet and greet with the exhibitors that we have. They don't need to pay to come to that. They do have to pay to come to the luncheon, of course, because well, yeah, um, that's, that's a different thing. But, you know, we, we have gotten a, a lot of information from our members and from the marketing community that there's a need there, that they want to touch and feel the service providers that we have available in Tampa Bay. And there's some great companies here that service not just local uh, companies, but regional and national organizations. Tampa Digital is one of them. I mean, yeah. it's absolutely amazing. And our chapter has really um, listened to our membership because they want to hear from the, the, the players. I mean, to be able to sit and listen to a presentation from a, a CMO, senior, a chief marketing sure. officer from a, a national brand company is a, a person you want to learn from. And that's really you know, what, how we've structured our chapter because we want to be able to everyone learn from that experience. Ken, um, are you still, do you still have booze available if vendors want to come or? Did you ask if they had booze available? Booze. <laughs> booze. This sounds like a good day. Actually, um, they can still register for an exhibit booth. The cost is only $300, and they get a 20 wow. by 10 foot space. So it's a really small price to pay to be able to get a lot of one-on-one -on -one networking opportunities with marketing people within Tampa Bay. You know, one thing that we can't forget about is while the AMA is filled with people that are in the business of marketing and all that kind of stuff, trying to help network and find out and learn and do that stuff, you know, this is an incredible opportunity for business owners that are not necessarily sure. in the AMA to come and find sure. out other vendors and everything that's out there, you know? So how are you attacking a plan to get people that are not necessarily in your organization to show up, Jim? We, get a, we, um, we always get a fair amount of non-members showing up at the events because I think, uh, to your point, that there's a certain level of excitement in the community right now. People are realizing the value that we're bringing to, to Tampa Bay. And it is a great venue for business managers to, to drive new business into their, into their organizations. I think one comment I wanted to make on what something Karen started on is I, I personally am relatively new to Tampa Bay. I came here in 2005 from New York. I've been involved in AMA when I lived in New York and when I worked in Atlanta, and um, this, this is a very, very vibrant chapter right now. When I first got here, somebody from the other side of Florida told me to check them out, and, and, and I'm very and happy. And it's worked well for Absolutely. you. Absolutely. You know, give us uh, the website for the event and more information about the event, how people can register, how they can still be part of the booth. It's very simple. Get a booth. Our, yeah, our website is amatampabay.org. 
It's right there on the home page, and they just have to scroll down and click through, and it's right there. Wonderful. Um, we also are going to be doing a member orientation at the expo, so people can learn more about us and the Wonderful. value that they can get from oh, our from part membership. Part I know that Wrap it Tampa all up Digital, a big event, right? Yes. I know that Tampa Digital enjoys being a part and affiliated with the AMA, so uh, anybody should, everybody should join AMA. Yeah. <laughs>